Hi, I'm Sarah and welcome to Rich Textures Crochet on YouTube. Let's crochet something beautiful today. Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and today we are going to learn how to crochet the reverse single crochet stitch. Now the reverse single crochet stitch is the stitch that you see here along the top of my work and it's often used as an edging or a way to finish off your piece. So I like to use it a lot in my dishcloths. I've also used it in blankets and it just provides a simple almost like a corded texture finish to your project. It's quite durable, has a little bit of a spiral look here to it. So today we're going to learn how to crochet this fun edging called the reverse single crochet stitch. While you're here, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. It's updated weekly with stitch tutorials such as the one that you're going to see here today. Thank you so much for joining me. Now for the tutorial today, I've started off by making a swatch of simple single crochet stitches. So these are just row upon row of single crochet stitches. I think I started with a starting chain of 20 or 21 and then just worked uh, several rows of single crochet. Okay, now normally when you work a single crochet stitch, if you are right handed, you're working from right to left. So, and you're simply, you're inserting your hook, you're yarning over and pulling up a loop, yarning over and pulling through those two loops on your hook. That's your single crochet stitch. And you would work from right to left if you are right-handed. Now for the reverse single crochet stitch, you are simply going to reverse that action of working from right to left. So for the reverse single crochet stitch, instead of working right to left, you're actually going to crochet from left to right. So what you're going to do is uh, you can use any multiple of stitches for this edging. And all you're going to do is simply work backward. Insert your hook in the same space as you would work a normal stitch in the stitch before um, the one uh, like the, in, in the prior stitch, sorry. So you're going to insert your hook, yarn over, drop your loop, and then complete your single crochet stitch. You're going to want to do that over the length of that edge that you're working on. So once again, insert your hook in the stitch prior to the one just worked, the stitch before the one just worked, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops and you will see that it's kind of twisting your single crochet stitch. And that's all there is actually to the reverse single crochet. So take your hook insert in the stitch previous to the one you just worked. So you're working left to right, yarn over and drop a loop. You'll see it has kind of twisted your single crochet stitch. You're going to yarn over and pull through those two loops. You're going to work that reverse single crochet all the way across. So insert your hook in the stitch prior, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops. Continue to do that all the way across your work. If you are working around a corner stitch, I like to work two of these reverse single crochet stitches in each corner. I do find they're a little bit longer, so normally I'd work three single crochet stitches, but for the reverse, I would only work two, and I find it gives it just a nice, smooth, uh, clean and tight uh, corner. So continue to do that all the way across. You're just working backward from left to right, inserting your hook and completing your single crochet. That's all there is to the reverse single crochet stitch. If I pull back here, you can see where I have my forward single crochet stitches and you can see the difference 
that the reverse single crochet stitch makes. So thank you very much for joining me on this quick tutorial on how to work the reverse single crochet stitch. Until next time, happy crocheting! Bye!